Well, hello, beloved. I'm uh, kind of changing the direction of this series. Um, was going to talk about the way we bring the heaven down to earth. And we're still talking about that. But it seems to me uh, this is becoming more of a discerning what touches the ground. <clears throat> and how do you know that you read in the scripture, you had the revelation of it, uh, it is the will of God, um, you know it's because of the righteousness of Christ, um, overcoming by the blood, the word of your testimony, in the name of Jesus. How do you know that every time you speak that word, you speak that truth over the earth, over your body, over a circumstance, things are changing and not sometimes are, sometimes are not. I do get more questions lately from um, um, people, from sons, that are, are seeing a mixture. It says, you know, this person has been baptized the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, and then I see him, you know, doing all kind of cursing and um, weird stuff and lives in sin. Uh, so it's, is is this a mixture? We we know the flesh sense, and that's what's good at. And unless the cross of Christ is revealed and applied, the flesh will always sin. If you follow the thinking of the flesh, you'll die. That's why it says Romans eight. But by the Spirit, you put to death the deeds of the flesh. So, you start from Him, you know it's Him. But as it touches the ground, there are symptoms, there are things that not quite happen. You are not assured. You're not sure. So, that's where you got to the place when we talk about being established <clears throat> that connection connectivity that word coming down to earth it's settled settled so i want to talk to you about a couple of ways to be to experience this establishing, this settling. And one is um, being established by confirmation. So that's an establishment, establishing from outside. And then there is an establishing by inside. Both of them have their importance. Okay, the establishing from outside by confirmation, here it is, Job 20, 22, 28. You will also declare a thing and will be established for you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You will declare and will be established for you but look at the next phrase so light will shine on your ways how do i know it's established because suddenly i know what to do i get the right direction the green light is there so it's like yeah this is the way this is the job where the Lord wants me. This is the person He wants me to connect with. Okay? So the establishing, so light will shine. 
So you see confirmation when that word is established. Psalm 62:11. <clears throat> probably we mentioned this before. God has spoken once, twice. I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Where is the second? So the first time I hear him, the second time I hear my mouth declaration. So it's twice, twice I hear. Again, I hear. So it's a confirmation. It's an establishing from outside. Um, <clears throat> Another interesting confirmation is the confirmation by numbers or the number of times things are happening from outside, yes. The dream was repeated, Genesis 41, 32. The dream was repeated to Pharaoh twice because, so this is the explanation of the Holy Spirit, because the thing is established by God. And God will shortly bring it to pass. So when He establishes what He shows you, then it doubles, it confirms it, and that means it will happen soon. Okay. So, again, the, the way that the Lord explains that, um, I heard different people talking about a uh, same dream repeating twice. Um, seeing number two, 22, 222. Two, two. <laughs> um, so lots of prophetic explanation. Okay, so again, it's an establishing by confirmation from outside how is the establishing from inside so here the here are the words listen carefully colossians 2 7 rooted and build up in him that's inside established and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding in it with thanksgiving do you see how it comes from inside out? Because you are established, rooted, built up in Him, then it comes out with thanksgiving from inside out. You know that you know. Remember people asking, well, how do you, how, how do you know? I mean, it, everybody um, is partially right. How, how would you know? So that's, this is not about how sure I am, but I'm teaching you, I'm imparting to you how to get established in what you know from Him to be unmovable. Settle down, clear, once and for all. I'm imparting that to you. Hebrews 8, 6, But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry inasmuch as he, talking about Jesus, is also mediator of a better covenant which was established on better promises, the covenant is established. Do you know that? Do you need a prophetic word to confirm it? Do you need a dream? Do you need somebody to give you a word of knowledge or a friend to say, yeah, you know, I think that's from the Lord. It's important. Established by confirmation, absolutely important. But the Lord is working inside you, a knowing, established on better 
promises. You know that you know that's the word of God for your life. Hebrews 39, for it is good that the heart inside be established by grace. <laughs> I love this. Not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. Uh, obviously, he's not talking about the carnal foods. <laughs> Right, the meat and potatoes or rice. Because here it says that um, people have been occupied with them. Uh, foods for the mind, food for the heart. Your heart has to be established by grace. Are you eating? spiritual food that's filled with grace, made, prepared by grace, so you can be established by grace. A heart established by grace is not shaken, shaking. It's not afraid. What if doesn't have doubts, fears? It's established from me inside out. You are established by grace. What kind of food you give to your mind? How do you renew your mind? Are you eating the food of grace? Second Peter one eleven. For so an entrance <laughs> will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For this reason I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know and are established in the present truth. I like this. I'll still remind you. You, Yes, you do know. You are established in truth. I'll still remind you that. Okay. So, established in truth. Not knowing the truth will set you free. Not having the revelation of truth. Not preaching the truth but being established in truth. So this is um, lots of lots of verses, lots of things. I want you to keep listening. Write them down. Go to the context of the verses and work on this and say, Lord, I'm, I'm still shaking. I'm still unclear. If the winds and the waves are coming, I'm still kind of drowning. <laughs> I'm not walking securely underwater. Show me. Go through this and know that He wants you to be established in faith and better promises, established by grace established in the truth. That's His will for you. And it says here, an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly. This is powerful. Abundant life. That's for you. Amen. <laughs>